scientists at MIT are calling on the expertise of a man in federal way because he's a whiz at math in a way that no other person in the world is. As Kirsten Joyce shows us, his mathematical gift isn't one he was born with. He came by it through a brutal attack. Fractal-wise, if you look at numbers just as being fractals. Jason Paget is the best math tutor his daughter Megan could ever ask for. It's very nice because I know that he can explain it to me and also explain it in a more easier way, but he can also help me like with more advanced math. Jason wasn't always into geometry. Well, I was one of those kids that said math was stupid. His passion for it came unexpectedly, brutally even, after a mugging eight years ago in Tacoma. They ran up behind me and smashed me in the back of the head. Um, it actually knocked me out initially. Unlike the majority of people who suffer a brain injury and lose abilities, Jason gained a rather unique ability to see and draw certain images. Suddenly, these patterns were obvious and they were everywhere. I mean, from trees to people to skin to paper, no matter what it is, they're following these specific geometric patterns, which I now know are fractals. Specialists told him he likely acquired savant syndrome, a very rare case where as a result of his injury, one part of the brain starts to compensate by making more neural connections. And the part of his brain that did was the part that analyzes geometry. Suddenly, I'm able to basically process more information geometrically, whereas before I couldn't. Before this, I could not draw anything. Um, in fact, it was a joke in our family about Pictionary, how I was the worst at Pictionary. That one took probably three weeks, four weeks to draw. The first fractal he drew was the number pi. His images look like something a computer would generate, but he meticulously creates them by hand from the images in his mind, and they are extremely accurate. Jason admits he is obsessed, and not being able to turn off this passion can interfere with daily life. Yes, it does, constantly. Uh, I, I dream about it. I've, um, I, I'm, my daughter has woken me up counting prime numbers um, in my sleep. We would be driving to just, we'd be driving to like the store or something, and he'd be focused on like a tree. And sometimes he'd be really close to a red light, and I'd be like, okay, Dad, time to stop. Because he'd see fractals in the trees, like with the branches and the leaves. Ultimately, he'd like to use his passion to teach. Um, this one is just showing how you can actually describe motion. Considering his experience, it's pretty amazing to him how everything... Einstein's equation, uh, energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Adds up. Kirsten Joyce, Q13, Fox News. Paget is working with MIT scientists to design something called Fractal Fusion Reactor that in theory would deliver unlimited clean energy. They're also using his expertise to design magnets. All Who that. would think like something so terrible like a mugging would turn right. into something like that? It's fascinating how the brain works and what he can do now. It's amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. Good yeah. things are coming for it, you can that tell. That's great. <laughs> Where was the sun today in downtown Seattle, Aaron? Well, you guys, you're hopeful. You're always hoping that I'm going <laughs> to give you the to best. Be optimistic. Right. But I am going to be optimistic. I'm going to turn this into something powerful. We are going to see the sunshine again, and we are going to.